Welcome back. This is our video solution to problem 5 from Super Quiz 3. And in this problem, we're given two Gaussian integers, 5 minus 14i and 1 plus 2i. And in the first part, we want to show that w, which is the 1 plus 2i, does not divide z, which is the 5 minus 14i. So the simple way to get going on a problem of this is just start by trying to divide. So we'll write 5 minus 14i over 1 plus 2i. That is your z divided by w. And we play this, this usual trick of multiplying top and bottom by the complex conjugate of the denominator. So that'll be multiplying top and bottom by 1 minus 2i. All right, let's see. In the denominator, that's the easy part, it's a difference of squares. Uh, and the i is going to actually turn it into a sum of squares. So we just square 1, square 2, add those together, and that'll give us 5. And in the numerator, let's see, we're going to get 5 times 1, that's a 5. Then let's do the i parts together. We have negative 14 and negative 2 i's. So let's see, that's 28, but then also i times i will give us a minus 1. So this will be minus 28. Okay, now the mixed term, so we'll have 5 times negative 2i and negative 14i times 1, so that will be negative 10 and negative 14, that's minus 24i. So we end up with negative 23 minus 24i over 5, or it might be useful to break this up as negative 23 over 5 minus 24 fifths i. Now the important thing in part A is to ask, is this actually a Gaussian integer? Because what, is it, what would it mean for W to divide Z? So W would divide Z if there exists some Gaussian integer, call it Q, such that W times Q is equal to Z, or equivalently, assuming, I mean, the, we know q is not going to be 0 in this case. Equivalently, q is equal to z over w. So we just computed z over w, and we found that it was not a Gaussian integer. How do I know it's not a Gaussian integer? Well, look what we got here. These are not integer coefficients. Right? The only way you get a Gaussian integer is when it looks like a plus bi, and a and b are integers. So this verifies that w does not divide z. Okay, so part B says, fine, doesn't divide it. You can use the division algorithm or the Euclidean algorithm uh, when you do the division algorithm multiple times to find the greatest common divisor of Z and W. In fact, we want to show that it's equal to I. So when you want to use the division algorithm in the uh, Gaussian integers, we can start by doing this division just as we've already done. And then we want to, if you like, round this to the nearest Gaussian integer. Particularly, we want to find one which is less than one away in terms of the norm. So we can always guarantee we do that uh, by, by just going to the nearest integer in each component, uh, where if it's at a half, then it, it actually won't matter which direction that you go. Um, so let's see here. This one is, let's see, 5 would go into 23 like between four and five times, um, but it's a little closer to five times. So let's round this to negative five. All right, so I'm going to take negative 23 over five minus 24 over five i, and I'm going to say this is approximately equal to negative five, and actually this 24, that also will round, uh, 24 over five will round to a five as well. There's still a minus here. So this is approximately negative 5 minus 5i. All right, so even though we were not able to find the q that makes z equal to w times q, we found an approximate q. Okay, so this is going to equal our q. Okay, and so we could say, well, z is going to equal q times w, but plus some remainder, right? That's the division algorithm part of this, right, is we need to have some remainder. So we need to figure out what this remainder is. Well, let's see. Our Q is negative 5 minus 5i. Our W was 1 plus 2i. 
And of course, we know the z is supposed to be 5 minus 14i. Well, let's distribute this, right? We know we're missing something, right? This is plus something. We don't know what yet. Let's distribute. So negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. And then we also have a negative 5 times 2 will be negative 10, but then the 2i's give me a positive 10. And then the cross terms. I'll have negative 10i and negative 5i. That'll be negative 15i. Okay, so this gives me 5 minus 15i. And you see, I'm only off by the answer I'm supposed to get, 5 minus 14i, by a single i. So all I have to do is add an i, and then I'll have a correct statement. And this i, of course, we know the, the norm of i is 1, which is less than the norm of 1 plus 2i. Right? This is less than 5, which is the norm of 1 plus 2i. So this really works as a division algorithm uh, QR uh, pair, right? And this is a quotient remainder pair. So this is your R. Cool. But it's even better because we go to use the Euclidean algorithm, and it says, okay, you got to start with z equals qw plus r, and then you, you slide things over, and you keep doing it until the remainder you get is a unit. But the remainder we got already was a unit. So this tells us, right, by the Euclidean algorithm, the GCD of Z and W is equal to I. Well, strictly speaking, we shouldn't say equal here because there's actually going to be four different greatest common divisors, right? All the four uh, associates, I, minus I, plus and minus one. Uh, but for for these purposes, this notation will be just fine. Okay, hope this made some sense for you.